talking about a case earlier about in 1959 these uh, nine experienced campers went into Russia it might be from Russia went on a camping expedition when they found them dead they were spread out uh, some of their organs were missing they had radiation burns on them as well as their tents, which coincides with alien UFOs. Uh, it's important to understand why there's been a four or five thousand year gap from the very first time the fallen angels came, alien graves, UFOs why there's a four or five thousand year gap it shows you that nothing you do or say is going to change reality they feel that they own us that they're above us the proof is that every time they show up they're always on some power trip look at if they if I'm right and I'm if you do your research, you'll realize I'm right. In 1920, 1930, they showed up, and what happened? Right away, right away, they went into world domination mode. Murder, kill, murder, kill, everything they can to rule the government and to put us into chains and slavery just like their ancestors. They inherited the same traits. Think of it this way. Right? What is the devil known for? He's known for existing, but making mankind believe he doesn't exist. Him and the fallen angels, both actually. Because if there's a devil, there's a God. The children of the fallen angels they take on that same attribute where they don't want you to know they're here. They might even be physical like you and me, but be slightly more spiritual physically. Now, I'm not saying they can walk through walls, but we really don't know. And they have technology. Because when people get abducted by UFOs, they actually rise up through the ceiling, through the roof, through the wall. It's important to understand a powerful weapon that you got at your... at your will. Why are the hybrids spending trillions of dollars taking out scripture pertaining to Jesus. I'm not talking about the Mandela effect because when you come to that, it's like there's scripture changed, missing. People locked their Bibles away for 30, 40 years, opened them up with the key, and scriptures changed inside their personal Bibles. I'm talking about all the Bibles that are on sale now for the past 20, 30 years. The New King James, you know, all the Bibles. They're missing scripture pertaining to Christ. They're not changing everything like like uh, songs, uh, Timothy, I don't know the books, I can't think of one of them. They're not, they're not changing everything, they're just changing the scripture that pertains to Jesus Christ. Are you understanding this? Now the, Ma, the MUFON, MUFON study is the most popular study of UFO abductions in the world. And they were forced to admit 20 years ago that when people cry out for Christ, the abduction stops. This is important to understand because the same 
people that are taking out the scripture pertaining to Christ are the ones taking over the world. And their fathers, the fallen angels, the UFOs, are those are those are those are those are fallen angels pretending to be a spaceship. Because they can change their physical appearance at will, their spirits. So they get injured when you cry out for Christ. They 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 let go of people and they take off running. There's power in the word. So why are they taking it out of Bibles? This is really going to be a physical fight in the very end. What is it about Christ knowing Scripture, exercising Scripture, believing, having faith, praying to Christ, following the commandments? What is it about that that they fear? Why else would they spend trillions of dollars? If it was just a war they're just going to win, why waste time with Bibles? Trillions of dollars. It sounds crazy, but your power, your arsenal, these are for non-believers, not for believers, but for non-believers. Your arsenal against this alien invasion that's coming soon, publicly, it's already here, but is your arsenal is going to be the Word of God. Knowing the Bible, knowing Christ, and exercising the authority of Christ. Last time the hybrids were here, they were giants. They made them our size, they fit into to society so they can take us over. And having God on our side scares them. That's why they're afraid, that's why they're taking out scripture pertaining to Christ. Whatever is coming isn't the, a the average regular war. This is actually the same energy that abducts people and they go Jesus please help and then the UFO takes off when they're back in their bed the victims back in their bed that energy vibrational thing is going to cover the entire earth at the time of the Antichrist so if you're with Christ it's gonna hurt you understand you're gonna hurt it actually the Bible actually hints around that in the very end times when the Antichrist is here and there's all this demonic power stuff happening, giants, UFOs flying, blasting buildings. There's actually evidence that believers are not only going to have the power that Christ had, but even more. Christ said you would do things that I do, even greater things. He's going to give his people the power to have supernatural power so they can fight the enemy and get the gospel out there to the unsaved. They're going to do, we are going to do, those of us that make it. Some of us, some of us will be moiters. God, God will choose. Some of us are moiters and some of us are going to continue on to the very end. But the stronger you are as a Christian, the more you give your life over to God and, and just put them before everything. The better your chances are of surviving this, getting closer to God, getting rewards in the spirit, inner joy that nothing can take away, and getting your supernatural gifts, seeing the future, prophesizing, eventually, I mean, Christ walked on water. Christ was able to open up fish and there was coins in their mouth to pay the taxes. He said, you're going to do greater things. Christ healed people. The hybrids can heal people. They use demonic energy. Can you imagine using the Holy Spirit and healing people? An honest healing? They're, they're vibrating on a frequency that's death, cancer, destruction. They're meant to do themselves in. They're going to be their worst enemies. They are their worst enemies. They don't appreciate existing. Because if they appreciated existing, they would refuse to fight. They would say, look it, you forced me to be here. I never asked to be here. I'm not going to hurt people. I'm not going to hurt animals. I'm neutral. If the hybrids did that, they will avoid judgment. And those of you listening that don't listen to what I'm saying and don't follow it, don't blame anybody but yourself. 
when God's judging you and it's hurting bad. Because you're doing this to yourself. Thinking you're getting over on people. The people that are meant to be here, you are meant to be here. It's not your fault, but don't rub it in. Just be neutral. Be neutral. God will have mercy on you. And there's some very nice gifts waiting for you that you will agree are definitely worth it. But you'll never know if you don't stop your crap. Thanks for watching. For all you out there, God bless you all. Get your heart right with God. Uh, happy Sabbath. Antichrist is coming, but God is God of all things. He's the creator of all things, and we love him with all our heart. There you go. Praise you, Jesus. You are the Lord of glories. King of kings. We praise your holy name, God. Amen.